Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody, let me introduce myself. My name is Krishna Hakim. I'm from Department of Electrical Engineering, Sulawesi University. Today, I will present my research. The title is Design and Analysis Performance Solar Power Plant 15 kW by Maximizing Final Yield and Performance Ratio in Small Medium Office. First, go to Chapter 1, Background. The background of my research is on the 2025 Indonesia target can produce of 3500 MW electrical energy which is must be created throughout the region. To meet this target, we can make use of renewable energy resources. One of the renewable energy resources which has big potential is solar energy which is can use to produce electrical energy by build solar power plant system but over time the solar power plant system which has been built requires a further analysis which is the analysis used to find the optimum reduction that can be generated of solar power plant system and obstacle encounter of solar power plant system the analysis can be modeled using PVSSD software and then compared with the actual result. Then go to chapter 2, study literature. There are four main resources that researchers use, but the difference lies in the type of component used and type of application location. Then theory. The basic principle of how solar cell work is to convert light energy into into so electrical energy because of the two different electrodes in the system. Solar power plant system consists of inverters, batteries, solar array, and other supporting components that support the performance of system. The solar power plant system has three types of interaction are off-grid, on-grid, and hybrid. Then, this is the software that is to use, namely PVSSD. Then, there are four main formulas that is to use, namely final yield for find the specific performance. Reference yield for find the reference performance. Performance ratio for find the quality of installed system. Capacity factor for find the actual energy output ratio in time period. Then go to chapter three. This is uh, the following are tools and materials that is used. This is the flow chart. We start filtrator, input the parameter, modeling solar power plant system, check the suitability system, running the PLTS system simulation, displaying the simulation result, analyze, analyze simulation result, record the real power output, analyze the real result, comparing simulation and real result, displaying the comparison of real and simulation result, analyzing difference in result, then finish. Then, this is the system modeling. The modeling system began with filling in the coordinate of the location, then selection, then selecting the type of installation and filling in the component parameter of the system to be modeled. Then go to chapter 4, this is the 3D design of solar power plant system, 5 kW line at the left side and 10 kW line at the right side. This is the block diagram of solar power plant system, 5 kW line at the left side and then 10 kW line at the right side. This is the optimum potential electrical energy production of the solar power plant system. 5 kW line at the left side and 10 kW line at the right side. 
This is the graph of electrical production per day at the flowchart and the flowchart losses diagram of 5 kW line slab open system. This is the graph of electrical production per day and the flowchart losses diagram of 10 kW line slab open system. This is the comparison of the simulation result with the real condition of solar power plant system 6 kW line at the left side and 10 kW line at the right side. This is the special performance and capacity factor of the solar power plant system 6 kW line at the left side and 10 kW line at the right side. The analysis of difference between simulation result and reality condition is in the simulation system use ideal or recommended condition but in the real condition not use recommended condition that cause the production final yield and performance ratio different from the simulation result then go to chapter 5 conclusion Doubt as 15 kW faculty of engineering and S has the op optimum potential to produce electrical energy for one year on the 5 kW line is 5264 kW with performance ratio 81.4% and then for 10 kW line is 7687 kilowatt with the performance that performance ratio is 83% the electrical energy production of 15 kilowatt LS property of engineering NS during a period when one year is smaller than optimum potential for electrical energy production from the simulation result. Which is the difference is 7, 74% to the simulation at the line kilowatt and 78% of the simulation at the 10 kW line. The optimum production of electrical energy is caused by several things, namely difference in irradiance climate, low solar irradiance value, reserve by the PLDS system due to shading, presence of dust and lack of periodic maintenance, this has an impact on decreasing the specific performance value with one year, which is 0.91 hours per day with a capacitor factor is 3.7% for the 5 kilowatt line and 3.7% 07 hours per day with a capacity factor 11.7% for 10 kilowatt line. Okay, that's all. Thank you.